I'm your host, Logan23, and you're joining me for AME Chapter 16, where wishes come true. Right after the Kissing Challenge winner is revealed, Carson makes a shocking announcement. Derek and Mackenzie, this week, one of you will be sent to the jury house. Damn, I had a feeling this would happen. Really? Because I didn't. Derek and Mackenzie are in the bottom two. Uh, I'm not letting you leave, Mackenzie. You shouldn't even be in this position. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I know this is tough news, but I have an announcement that'll turn those frowns upside down. This week, our lucky challenge winner gets to take two contestants to the world of famous magic funland. S strip club? No, no, no. Disneyland. The kingdom where wishes come true? Oh, I get to go? Nope. Same. I haven't been there since I was a kid. Your mother took you to a strip club? John, uh, since you won the kissing challenge, you get to choose who to bring with you to Magic Funland. Who's it gonna be? Mackenzie. You game, Mackenzie? Hell yeah, I've got some wishes that need granting. Uh, you believe in magic, and I hope you do. Let's go with Ivy, why not? Ivy! You wanna come with me? Of course! Magic Funland is my favorite place on Earth! Well, this is gonna be so much fun. Pack it up, everyone! We've got a long day tomorrow. The uh, production ends for the night. You head back inside with Mackenzie and Dare trailing behind. <coughs> Next morning, you're on your way to hair and makeup when Ivy falls and steps beside you. Morning, John! Uh, Mackenzie didn't keep you up all night. Hmm. Uh, what do you mean? She's in a foul mood since she found out she's in the bottom two. Or she threw a huge tantrum last night. Are you sure? I didn't hear anything. Ivy glances over her shoulder as if checking for e eavesdroppers and leans closer, her eyes glittering. Between you and me, I think it's funny she lost this particular challenge. She must be a terrible kisser. No offense, but uh, I know you two are close. Uh, wow, Ivy. No need to be this catty. It's like you read my mind. Do you really hate Mackenzie that much? I don't hate her! Well, she's my friend. Could you at least try to get along? Getting along is a two-way street, John. Maybe you should have been having this conversation with her instead. Well, Fatima is expecting me. I should probably go. Why? We brought you on the date again? I'll never know. Should have brought Derek. Sure thing. As you head to the hair and makeup, you try to ignore the uneasy feeling in your stomach. You wait. Find Jim and Fatima waiting for you. You holding up okay? Yeah. It's just surreal knowing Mackenzie or Derek might go home. I get it. Saying goodbye can be hard this late in the season. Today will be a welcome distraction, then. You can't possibly be sad at Magic Funland. You haven't met me. Exactly. You need to live in the moment, John, and try to check your worries at the door. Even if this is your last date with Mackenzie, or at least, uh, you'll send her off on a high note. Magic Funland is so romantic. Uh, you're right. I should get the, in the spirit of things. Especially since this week, the audience wants to see your carefree and fun-loving sign. Show them you're a kid at heart. Lucky for you, I have the perfect outfit for the occasion. Let's see it, then. Mr. Rogers, is that you? Marooned. Amuse yourself endlessly in this cool, casual look. Someone thought Mr. Rogers was cool. He was cool. However, dressing up as Mr. Rogers is not so much. Uh, and second thought, I think I'll stick with what I have on. Not a problem! You'll have a great time no matter what you wear. Uh, as you head up your date, Fatima blows you a kiss. Have fun today, John. Make a wish for me. Mm. I wish for two new lungs. Actually, just get me a whole new body. <sighs> we 
When you arrive at Magic Funland, you take in the sight of the whimsical castle looming before you. Can't believe we're here. The castle's even bigger in person. It's so good to be back after all these years. Welcome to Magic Funland, the kingdom where wishes come true. Carson, you don't need to say the catchphrase every time. Right. Sorry. Carson's throat then continues. They say a person's favorite ride tells you a lot about them. Who's those who you love? The merry-go-round are usually playful and romantic. Those who love the roller coaster are the wild and daring time. Uh, I want to ride the merry-go-round roller coaster. I'm gonna go with merry-go-round. There's something so sweet about that ride. I can't pass it up. I thought it was the Tunnel of Love that was the one for romantics. When you and your dates get to the merry-go-round, you smile at the twinkling music and technicolor horses. Can't go wrong with a car castle, classic carousel. John, who are you going to ride with? Wait, there's no option for myself? Or diamonds? Ride with Mackenzie. Come on, Mackenzie, let's go for a ride. Okay, okay, but only because I like you, John. Uh, I thought that was... I thought we were going for another type of ride, then. When the two of you step onto the platform, Mackenzie's immediately hops on a rainbow-colored dragon. You gonna join me, John? Share a saddle with Mackenzie. Just try and stop me. After checking that the ride attendant isn't looking, you hoist yourself onto the dragon behind Mackenzie. I like a man who lives on the edge. As the carousel turns, you notice a group of people looking at the cameras and the pair of you. You cup one hand around your mouth and yell, Guys are the most beautiful crowd in Florida. Can't believe our fans are so gorgeous. You blow dramatic kisses at the crowd, waving like royalty. They like me. They really like me. That or they like being on camera. When the ride slows to a stop, you and your date step off the platform with matching grins and smiles at you from beside the cameras. What do you think, Jen? Is my playful side going to impress the audience? Definitely. When you rejoin the production crew in the courtyard, the group takes a moment to relax and enjoy the sunshine. And talk to Mackenzie. That's the whole point. It's a date. You find Mackenzie perusing a nearby food stand. Mackenzie takes a huge spool of cotton candy from the vendor with a grin. I didn't take you for the cotton candy type. What can I say? I have a major sweet tooth. Mackenzie takes a big bite of the cotton candy and then offers some to you. Uh, why not blue? You smile as the sugar dissolves on your tongue. So, what's the verdict? Does Magic Fun Land live up to your to the hype? Definitely. I just wish... Well, I wish I could have experienced it under happier circumstances. What do you mean? Okay, I clicked. Come on. Um, this could be my last date of the summer, John. I mean, I'm not given up yet, but realistically, I know I might be losing out on the winning prize money for Natalie. Right. Your sister. Kenzie stares pensively across the park. I've been working so hard to win. Not just for me, but for my family. But here I am in the bottom two, living up, living up like there's no tomorrow. Is that selfish of me? Um, it's not selfish at all. You're like the best big sister ever. Even if you didn't win the money, I'm sure Natalie is proud of you. I certainly am. Thanks, John. I guess I just wanted to feel like all this was worth it. Gansy looks at you then, a warm expression in her eyes. Come here. He leaned towards her and... She meets you halfway, pressing her lips to yours, and Mackenzie rests her hand on your neck, pulling you closer. John. You kiss her sweetly, and then take a step back. Mackenzie smiles up at you. Look at the competition. I'm gonna live like there's no tomorrow. Good. If anyone deserves a break, Mackenzie, it's you. You turn to Ivy and find her watching girls run by in princess costumes. She smiles sweetly as you approach her. 
What does it say about me that I'm jealous of their light-up tiaras? That you're a kid at heart? Ivy looks up at the castle, a sentimental smile on her face. Whatever my... Whenever my family came here, I, I insisted on wearing my fairy princess costume. I even had my very own glitter wand, and before Diamond Choice. When I was little, I pretended that, uh... Yeah, I pretended I could go to Magic Funland, too. You've never been here ever? Nope. Never. Oh my goodness! We need to make this the best day ever! You never forget your first time. In that case, I'm really looking forward to the rest of the afternoon. Ivy blushes. Well, before we do anything else, I just want to thank you for bringing me along, John. Young or old, I'm, I'm glad to see the magic has worn off this place. That and I also fantasized about being Spider-Man, but I digress. Later that afternoon, Carson leads you all to the entrance of Arai. What? What, I can't be Spider-Man and come to Magic Funland? Behold the iconic Tunnel of Love, an attraction best known for strengthening bonds between lovers and sparking feelings between strangers. Sign me up. The magic of this ride knows no bounds, and today that magic can be yours for 30 diamonds or less. Does it come with a love potion? It's so romantic, isn't it? Oh, so which of you will embark on this adventure and experience the power of love? Catcher dates, sneaking glances at you, besides Jan whispers. You should definitely go on the ride, John. It'll be great footage and get some one-on-one -on -one time with someone special. Hi, Pixel da Diamond Fairy, how are you? That does sound appealing. Now's your chance to enjoy the ride, I don't care. Wander the park alone. I'd just rather explore the rest of the park. But... Hyper rolls her eyes and turns to your housemates. You two, get on the ride. We can't sell this date if there's not even a hint of romance. Oh! Can I get on the boat and watch? Or they can protest. She ushers your two dates into the tunnel, cameras at her heels. And they come out kissing. What? Later, when the group emerges from the ride, you all head back to the beach house. <clears throat> a few days later, you're getting ready for the elimination ceremony. Find Mackenzie pacing on the balcony upstairs. Hey, how are you holding up? If you want to know the truth, I'm not holding up at all. Adam and Ivy don't know me like you do. They'll probably vote me out in a heartbeat. You don't know that. Sometimes I wish I had your confidence. He sighs and runs a hand through her hair, thinking, Well, I've said my piece, and I think I've done all I can at this point. I'll just have to accept the result. Mackenzie, it sounds like you've already given up. You don't have to convince me. Sounds like you've already given up. Why'd you jump to that conclusion? Because you've been negative the whole time on the dance, before it, and just now. I'm trying to be realistic, John. That means preparing for the worst. I get it. I just wish you didn't have to. Mackenzie, no matter what happens, I want to thank you for always having my back, including your audience vote power. About that. Are you ready to find out the truth about who voted you out? It might not be pretty. Believe me, I'm ready. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time now. Well, then it won't keep you in suspense. As, long, as soon as I trigger it in my confessional, uh, I'll come find you. I'll be waiting. As you turn to go, uh, Mackenzie pulls you back, gives you a quick kiss. You lean into her, enjoying the moment. Was that for good luck? No. I just want to make every last second count. After you share a smile, you make your way downstairs. In the foyer, Derek intercepts you. Uh, John, listen. Uh, before I launch into this, I just want to say I've had the time of my life here, despite all the ups and downs. 
I'm glad, Derek, but uh, you don't need to deliver your farewell address just yet. Don't worry, I'm not. Though I have a feeling Ivy's gonna do her best to get rid of me. I'm sorry you're in this position, Derek. Don't sweat it. Even if things don't go my way tonight, I'm proud of the way I play the game. It's all thanks to you. Derek, you're proud of the showmance with Ivy? You should give yourself more credit. Sure, I may have encouraged you to play the game a little differently, but you've been a great competitor and an even better ally. You've gotten this far all on your own. That's really sweet of you to say, but you definitely had a hand in it. You encouraged me to be more spontaneous, to be more myself, and because of that, I had a great time on AME. Uh, now's my turn to d encourage you. If I do stay in the competition, you have my word that I'll help you with every step of the way. Well, I'll uh, make a pretty good-looking final, too. That's that, and you hear the producers calling for all the contestants to get on the stage. And now, here we go. Uh, at the end of all things. Don't be so dramatic, Derek. The two of you head out to the back patio. You and the other contestants take your places on stage as Piper directs the lights and cameras to focus in on you. Contestants, we come to yet another difficult elimination ceremony. By the end of the night, either Derek or Mackenzie will be leaving us. I know this is a trying time for both of you, so I'd like to open up the floor and give you a chance to... Carson, we don't have time to go off script. Viper continues to give her lecture. Adam and Ivy get your attention. John, uh, any advice on who we should vote out? It's better if we all just on the same page. We don't want to send this into a tiebreaker. Technically not a tiebreaker. I know you don't know how to count. Oh, wait. That's right, I'm not allowed to vote. Wait. Go ahead and send it in a tiebreaker. I don't give a shit. I'll break the damn thing. Okay, so... Tell them to eliminate Mackenzie. Tell them to eliminate Derek. I think you should vote Derek out. Derek should be eliminated because he can't be trusted. He's a bigger threat. Mackenzie deserves to be here. Mackenzie... Or Derek's a nice guy, but I can't let Mackenzie go to the jury house. I like her too much. But we can't be vote based off who we like. If we did, this competition would look very different. Yeah, and it probably should have looked very different. I don't know about that. There's something to be said about loyalty. Thank you, Adam. Adam nods thoughtful. Thanks, Joan. I'll take that into consideration. As Adam heads back to a spot on stage, Ivy leans closer to you. You're totally right. That's how I'm going to vote. Oh, go f yourself. Thanks, John. Ivy, you're up. Please cast your vote. Here it goes. Second Ivy disappears in the house. Mackenzie storms over to you. John, I just triggered my audience vote power. And who voted me out? It was Ivy. Eh, not surprising. So basically, Ivy will probably vote for Mackenzie. Adam hopefully will vote for Derek. It'll be a tie, so I'll get to break it. Official, Ivy betrayed you. Will you try to make peace with her, or will you get your revenge? Find out on the next episode of AME. Okay, so I'm sure some of you have been wondering where I've been. Uh, a few came into our Discord, which... I'm glad it took me being MIA to motivate some of you to come to Discord. You guys should really come regardless, but I digress. Um, and then some of you posted on YouTube, like, where have you been, etc., etc., etc. Some posted on Facebook, etc. Um, I do apologize about being MIA. Um, long story, very short. Um, I have health issues. And unfortunately, um, got a nice little hospital visit and um, got some really cool nifty pills. Um, 
let's just put it this way for for an issue um that is a permanent one it's not something like oh did he not sleep enough or or um you know something like that no it's unfortunately a permanent issue um so yeah let's just leave it at that i'm okay i've got some doctor's appointments to follow up um things like that but um yeah let's let's try to have a good day i won't bring you down um so yeah i'm all right i'm gonna try and uh get today's episodes out and then uh focus on what i missed on monday so look forward to those um so without further ado i remember to like share and subscribe hit down description below Thanks to social media, Discord, and a few links to support me and my content. Uh, unfortunately, no, we did not stream on Twitch uh, today. Like I said, I'm not feeling like it, and I'm just taking things at a pace. But we do typically stream choices every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, as well as other content. Um, until then, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.